Hello, this is Joe Wiles with the Rock and Roll Conservatory, and you're watching Today in Rock History. Today is January 23rd, and on this day in 1971, George Harrison became the first solo Beatle to have a number one when his song, My Sweet Lord, went to the top of the UK single charts. That song stayed at number one for five weeks. And if that's not rock and roll, I don't know what is. But in honor of the first Beatle going solo and getting a number one, let's learn George Harrison's My Sweet Lord. All right, to play My Sweet Lord, you're going to want to know five or six chords to start off. The first one is an F sharp minor. Take your index finger, bar across the entire second fret of the guitar. Use your ring and your pinky to form the rest of the chord. Put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string and your pinky on the fourth fret of the D string. That is an F sharp minor. The next one you're going to want to know is a B major. To play a B major, keep your finger on the second fret uh, bar. And you can use three fingers to do this. You're going to put your middle finger on the fourth fret of the D, fourth fret of the G, and fourth fret of the B. I use one finger. I use my ring finger to do all that. Okay. The next chord you're going to want to know is an E major. It's here in the open position. You're going to use an open E string. Put your middle finger on the second fret of the A, your ring finger on the second fret of the D, your index finger on the first fret of the G, and leave your B and E open. The next one is a C sharp minor. Take that barring finger up to the fourth fret. Use your middle finger for the fifth fret of the B, your ring finger for the sixth fret of the D, and your pinky for the sixth fret of the G. You're going to strum from the A string down. That's a C sharp minor. The next one you're going to want to know is a C sharp seven. Very similar to this. All we've got to do is keep our barring finger in place. Leave our ring finger here on the 6th fret of the D, but we're going to put our pinky on the 6th fret of the B string. So it'll go 4, 6, 4, 6, 4. Okay? And let me think. I think that about covers the most of the introduction and the verse. The sequence of those chords goes as follows. It starts with an F sharp minor to a B. Back to an F sharp minor, back to the B. We'll do this four times total. And then the last time, down to an E major, up to the C sharp minor, back down. Now we're going to go up to the C sharp seven, down to the F sharp minor, back to the B begin your song. That easy. Join us tomorrow for another day in rock history. I'll see you then.